Hey guys. We are here with Coach Ralph after tonight's 88-70 win at Miami. Coach, just what are your opening thoughts on the victory? And we'll open the floor for questions. Uh, so the first thing I want to say is I was just really proud of our team. Um, happy for our team that, you know, about a week ago, I, I felt disappointed in the way that we lost the game against, Mich against Michigan State. I talked to you guys about the things that I felt like we needed to get better at and the focus that we put on that in practice. And there wasn't anything that was strategical. <laughs> it was intangible qualities that I felt like we didn't possess um, down the stretch versus Michigan State. And I felt like today was a huge step forward in that direction. And it was an entire team effort. Um, from the bench to the floor, the way th that most of our kids stepped up, the energy we had, even the energy in warm-ups in the hotel, um, I could tell that this team is becoming a really good team, and it's fun to coach them. So uh, really proud and happy for them. I also want to say I couldn't be more proud of Camille Pierre. And, you know, uh, a year ago this time, I just said it on the radio, had that kid turned her ankle in practice, I'm not sure if she would have played for the next month. Um, but she was dead set on being out there with her team for her team. And I told her, you know, Hey, if you're going to play, you got to play. You can't be out there dragging your leg around. And, you know, if, if you got to play, you can't take plays off. And that's what we need from you today. And man, did she step up? Did she step up and do Camille Pierre things? And we needed every single thing that she did. Um, to the point where, you know, the last two minutes, she got a cramp in her quad and she's like screamed. <laughs> I'm not sure if you guys heard it. I'm done. I was like, okay, you can be done. There's only two minutes to go. But she literally gave her team everything that she had. Um, that is huge individual growth for her. And like I, to I tell you guys, every time we talk, she just is scratching the surface of what she can become. Also really proud of uh, Michaela Blake's continuing to step up and do things that you don't see freshmen uh, at this level do very much. And um, so you, you guys are seeing that night in and night out. And I just hope that everybody understands how special that is. All right, go ahead and open up the floor for questions. Raise your hand if you do have a question. We will go ahead and start with Elena Morris. Elena, go ahead. Yeah, the other day you talked about how you feel like you haven't seen your team play a complete game yet this year. You guys shot 50% from the floor. Uh, just from start to finish, it felt like you guys had it going. Do you feel like this is the most game you all play this complete game you all play this year? I feel, yes, I do. I feel like it was, it was the closest. And, you know, I, I told them we're not going to be perfect. You always want to chase perfection. You know, you, you want to make every play you have to make. You want to hold them scoreless. We didn't do that. You know, we turned the ball over a little bit. I thought defensively we gave up some wide open layups and threes that we, we can't do, but we didn't do it to the point that it cost us the game. And we were able to make some adjustments on the court. They were helping each other out. We had some great leadership. I thought Ayanna Moore stepped up and, and showed great leadership in the beginning when she got elbowed in the in the face, but then just making sure that we were steady both on offense and defense and communicating out on the court. Same with Jordan Oliver. Great, great leadership out on the floor. Um, and, and so in terms of a complete game for my team, this is the best that it's been so far. And they know that, but they also know that I feel like it can be better. So we'll continue working on that. Aria, go ahead. Uh -oh. Aria, yeah. there we go. Sorry. Um, yeah, in a in a faster paced kind of higher scoring game like there was today, and going with a a shorter rotation too. You know, how good was it to see them stay in it until the end and kind of keep the gas pedal down through four quarters? Yeah, I mean, you could have been in my huddle. That's what I was saying. We got to put our foot on their neck. We can't let up. And if you need a breather, you got to let me know. Otherwise, you're in there and you got to put your foot on their neck. <laughs> um, so it, that's what championship teams do. And so it's really fun right now as we continue to, to revitalize the program and build this team and put the pieces together to see them understand what that looks and feels like when they actually do it. Like you came here to win, then let's win. And, and we got to be in the driver's seat the whole time. No matter what, on offense, on defense, up, down, it doesn't matter. The way you win is by the way you prepare, the way you win championships, how you prepare, the habits that you that you bring, and then the mindset that you come into the game with, to the warm-ups, into the locker room, on the bus, when you're walking past their bench, when somebody elbows you in the summit, it's a mindset, and they know right from the jump ball that they don't have a chance. That's what it feels like to play on a championship team. And so I want my team to understand that. And, and no one's going to roll over. 
right? Like people aren't just going to give us games. You can go out there. They're going to play hard too. But putting our foot on the gas, putting our foot on their neck requires something different. You have to be different to be great. And I feel like our team is starting to understand that. Any more questions? Please raise your hand. Final question, Brandon Bixby. Go ahead, Brandon. Coach, I know you mentioned a few times how you felt like it was really the intangibles more than some of the strategic and X's and O's things that you felt like was the difference between Michigan State and these last two games. What do you feel like has been the biggest difference in those intangibles that you've seen that has led to some of those performances we've seen both in App State and then again tonight, obviously? Uh, yeah, I, I feel like continuing to harp on what it means to be part of a, of a great team, what that requires from everybody on the floor, in the locker room, on the bench, on my staff, and showing them the value in that. I don't, I'm not a coach, you know, I get on them, but I'm, I'm very much a glass half full optimistic kind of person and coach. I, I think I need to be that way. I have, I have high expectations and I'm demanding, but most of the time when you have players that are trying to figure out how great they can be, you just have to remind them of that and then remind them that it's not acceptable to be anything different, that you are great. That's what you came here to be. So you need to be it. And I'm not going to let you be anything different. And you find ways to show them how they can do that. And then at the other end is to simplify, simplify, L let kids play through things, let keep it simple for them so that the great players that you have, can make great plays. Um, and, and that was harder for me to do as a new head coach than I thought. I like to complicate things. I like to feel like I'm really smart and put it, you know, and that's just not what you do. And, and um, I have had to be reminded by many of, of my mentors that specifically my husband, uh, hey, just keep it simple. Um, but I remember that that's some of the things that Coach Ariema was really good at too. So when I, when I have players that can do the things that my players can do, I have to remind them how great they are. I have to hold them to that standard and expectation. And then I have to simplify, simplify, simplify it for them first day with my new mouth um, and make sure that we continue to, to preach those things in our practices. And I felt like that's what we tried to do those two days. Also think that sometimes you just have to get your ass beat. Oh, sorry. Sorry. Some, sometimes you just got to get, you know, someone's, and if you're not going to learn it by me saying those things and someone's just going to have to come smack you and then, all right, are you ready to learn now? Okay, let's do it. So I think that was part of it too. <laughs> All right, coach. Well, congratulations on the win. Enjoy this next 10, uh, 10 days off yes. during the finals week. Finals. Yes. Yep. And we'll talk to you before the Evansville game. Okay. Thank you. I appreciate you guys. Good to see you. Thank you coach. Yeah.